Hey everyone, today we're gonna to take a look at a pair of XR glasses from Xreal called the One. So before I get into this, uh, Xreal did send this out for review. There was no money that exchanged hands and they're seeing this video at the same time as you. So uh, I just wanna be fully transparent on that, that this is a review unit that I'm gonna be able to keep. So before we get into the product itself, I just wanted to show you what's in the box. You get your glasses, which is pretty obvious. We're gonna take a look at that later. There's also these other size nose pads. So if the one that you're wearing when you first put the glasses on doesn't quite fit, you can swap out to these to see if it's a better fit for you. You get this nice cleaning cloth that comes with and you also get your instruction manuals and guides. Now for the glasses themselves, we'll first start off with the case. So the case is a nice hard shell case that you're not really gonna be able to compress if you try. Uh, so your glasses are gonna be safe when you just toss them into your bag. And it's got some soft material on the inside. That's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. Protects your glasses. Make sure you don't get them damaged. Now on to the glasses themselves. I will say that they do seem to look a little bit nicer than the Air 2 Pros. And of course this is subjective, but I kind of like the glossy finish they have here, which is a little bit different than last year's. If we take a closer look at the Air 2 Pros, these ones are matte, which, you know, for some people they might prefer that. Uh, I just happen to like the other one. Um, the other thing that I noticed is on the Air 2 Pros, these ones are kind of tight when it comes to the handles. Like you can kind of lock it wherever you leave it. Like if I leave it there, there's, it's pretty solid. Where on the new ones, they've changed it. So now when you close it, it's kind of more like a snap open, snap close. You can still extend past a little bit. So if you have a big head, you should be able to have it stick out just a little bit. On the arms, we have two speakers that are on the left and the right. On the left side, we don't have any buttons, but on the right side, we have three different buttons. One of them is a rocker. Uh, at the top here, this is a programmable button that you can basically change and program to be what you'd like. At the bottom, you have your menu button. And then you have your rocker. This is for adjusting the dim level. You can adjust the volume as well as the brightness. One thing that has changed on this pair is that uh, these nose pads are actually screwed in now. So you can't just pull it out like previously. Uh, but in place where you'd normally have that, there's actually a slot here that you can buy an accessory that's a little camera that you can slot in there. So I'll put that up on the screen here. You can take a look at that. That is an accessory that's sold separately, so I don't know too much about it because I didn't receive it with my test unit. I've taken a look at a number of XR glasses over the years. Uh, I think it's been like six, seven of them by now. Um, if you guys check my channel, you'll see some of the videos. I haven't reviewed all of them as videos. I've just bought some and tested them out on my own, but uh, every iteration seems to get slightly better. Like we see like an increased refresh rate, maybe a little bit more clarity around the edges, but I have to say this one does feel like a generational leap and I'm gonna explain why in a minute here. So before I get into the actual review about uh, these specific glasses, for those that aren't familiar, um, these are XR glasses. They typically look like a pair of Ray-Bans, uh, the majority of them, not everyone. Um, and they usually connect to a device through USB-C that's usually at the back here. And you can connect that to your smartphone, to a handheld PC like the ROG Ally, Legion Go, or even your Steam Deck. And what they've typically been up till now is you have this, you have the, your glasses here that have little micro OLED displays that shine down onto the glass. And basically you see this floating monitor. So think of it like you have this TV that's just floating around and every time you turn, it turns with you. So that's typically how it's been done. You can use an app on your smartphone, sometimes with Mac or Windows, you can use, a, for x -Real, they have a program called Nebula, um, but typically it's always following you. You can lock it in place with some of those apps, or you can get, let's say the x -Real Beam Pro, uh, which has those features. But what's changed now is that it's all in the glasses. So you don't need any kind of extra accessory. You don't need that Beam Pro. You don't need to plug it into Windows and run Nebula. You can actually just select it from the menu. So that's because of a new chip that they have inside the glasses called the X1 chip. Basically what that does is it allows it to have a feature called native 3DOF. And what that is, is when I talked about like locking the screen in place, that's what I'm talking about. So they have it set up in a couple different modes. So you have one that um, 
really is locking in place and that's anchor mode. So it's like you're anchoring your screen. So you anchor your screen here. If you turn your head, the screen stays here. So it doesn't necessarily follow you like normal. There's also another mode that you can use that is a, a follow mode, but this isn't like very um, rigid, I'll say. It's more smooth. So if I turn, there's a very slight delay and it follows me. So I turn and then it follows. This makes it a little bit less, um, I guess, nauseating or some people really have trouble like that. Like my wife has trouble with uh, XR glasses where it feels a little bit uh, like she gets dizzy. Uh, so this helps with that. And then the third mode is actually, if you press it here again, you can click between the modes. Uh, you actually get this tiny little display that floats on the side of the screen. Uh, right now I actually have it on and I have it connected to my phone here. And I actually have a script, which is kind of cool, floating on the side here. So I can read different points that I want to talk about and I can still see the camera and see right through it. So to navigate these different modes, like I had mentioned before, you just tap the button and it'll cycle through them. But if you actually double tap the button, you get a full menu. And here's where you can configure a number of things. There's a number of display settings here that you can change the display size, the distance. So that'll make it that this it looks like it's further away and it'll get a little bit smaller. There's an ultra wide mode as well as 3D mode. If you turn off three, if you turn on 3D mode, basically 3D content will show up as 3D for you. You can also adjust some settings with your sound, like the volume or the audio protocol. And there is some shortcut button programming that you could do. So that's the button here at the top that you just uh, you can program it. Mine is set to transparency mode. So if I tap it. Basically what it does, is it turns off the display and I can just see through. Another feature that I really like about the glasses that are uh, basically built into the, the glass here is that electrochromic film. So they've added three layers of this. So you have the first one that they call clear mode, which basically is what you're seeing right now. Like you can kind of see through, you can see my eyes maybe a little bit. And then if I double tap the volume here, so it's actually not double tap, it's hold. So if I hold this, I can actually change the shade level. So this is the shade mode. And then I can press one more time for theater mode. And for a quick demo here, uh, if I go to clear mode, you can see that if I shine my flashlight through there, I, you can see it pretty clear. If I go to shade mode, it's mostly covered. And then theater mode is much darker. So it's actually pretty impressive how dark it can get. And one thing that a lot of people ask about the glasses is actually the field of view. So uh, this one, this is the X-Rail 1. So this one has a field of view of 50, uh, but the X-Rail 1 Pro has a field of view of 57 degrees. Uh, so how they describe that is that uh, the 1 would be 147 inches at 4 meters, where the 1 Pro is 171 inches at 4 meters. So quite a significant difference. So that's pretty much an overview of the glasses. I wanted to just share a few thoughts on it though. So the one thing that I'll say is the X, the X-Real ones are very nice. Uh, I would say that these are already my favorite pair of glasses, um, just because of those features that I don't need any other accessories. Like I don't need a beam pro or anything else to be able to do all this. But honestly, I have really nothing negative to say about these glasses. Like they're, they're pretty solid. They're not very heavy. Um, it would be nice if they could eventually get these here to be a little bit thinner, but, um, that would be the only thing really. And I don't know if they can really do that because they have to have the screens in here. Works really well. The features are great. And honestly, having the, uh, the Bose sound is a big improvement from last year's. So I don't really have any complaints. If you're in the market for a pair of XR glasses, definitely check out these X-Reels. But yeah, thank you to Xreal for sending this out for review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.